The new BMW S1000R sports motorbike is officially launched, it has a fierce look. This new motorbike will enliven the 1000cc naked sport market. There have been major updates since this BMW motorbike was launched in 2014. This new BMW motorbike uses the basis of the BMW S1000RR fairing sports motorbike. Including frame parts, engines and electronic devices. This naked sports motorbike also has the BMW S1000RR design in several parts. Regarding design. The BMW S1000R gets updates to the headlights. The new LED headlights with DRL are similar to those used on the BMW F900R. Apart from the headlights, there are LED turn signals and rear lights. Apart from the lights, the design of the gas tank and shroud is also new and made more robust. The new BMW S1000R also gets a new body that makes it look more solid and sharp. Towards the stern, the design tapers similar to the BMW S1000RR. Because it uses the BMW S1000RR frame, the motorbike looks sportier. Plus the new frame is claimed to be lighter and easier to control than the previous frame. For the engine, a 999cc air-cooled inline 4-cylinder engine is installed that complies with Euro 5 regulations. The machine is capable of producing 165 horsepower at 11,000 revolutions per minute and a peak torque of 115 Nm at 9,250 revolutions per minute. Power and torque are transferred to the rear wheels via a six-speed manual transmission. The new machine is claimed to be 5 kilograms lighter than the previous generation. As a result, the new BMW S1000R weighs 6.5 kilograms less than the previous model, around 199 kilogram. For features, a 6.5-inch TFT screen digital instrument panel is installed complete with Bluetooth connectivity. Apart from that, there are many electronic features such as wheelie control, cornering abs, traction control, 6-axis sensors. Plus the BMW S1000R has three riding modes, namely Rain Road Dynamic. The BMW S1000R was launched in three variants, Standard, Pro and Pro M Sport. The BMW S1000RR is now even more focused and more precisely geared towards pure performance. For those who increasingly demand more, more from themselves, more each lap, and more from their RR. Leading the way is a matter of millimeters, especially in the circles the RR has always been a part of. That's why we have streamlined and evolved the RR where it matters most from the new steering angle sensor with brake slide assist and slide control as well as the integration of M components and improvements to the electronics and crucial processes for modifying the bike for the racetrack. And all this with a clear goal in mind, claiming the pole position over and over again. Depending on the speed, composite plastic winglets generate up to 37.7 pounds aerodynamic downforce at 186 miles per hour. This downforce counteracts the tendency of the front wheel to lift off the road surface when accelerating. The fork maintains contact with the ground and DTC isn't forced to intervene as much. 
This allows you to noticeably and even more directly convert drive power into acceleration. Off to pit lane after laps around the racetrack. The last screen is now always displayed after having switched the ignition off and on. This will keep your concentration levels high and you focused on your mode. One pure ride screen and three different core screens are available depending on your preference. The system displays an appropriate maximum speed when the engine is cold. Thanks to the flashing gear shift indicator, the tachometer now flashes as an additional indicator. Unleashed Passion We have once again transferred all the experience from the racetrack to the high-performance BMW Shift Cam 4-cylinder engine in the RR. 205 horsepower. The airbox from the MRR provides particularly good air supply and improved load changes. The cylinder heads with new channel geometry and reinforced bearing brackets also stem from the MRR. We have also optimized the standard Shift Assistant Pro. It now also permits gear shifts with overrun upshifts and overrun downshifts and provides improved load change damping for gear shifting precision. And even the rear sprocket has more teeth now. Just like in the MRR, it now has 46 teeth instead of 45 for power down the straight. It's about millimeters to gain feedback and riding precision. The M chassis kit with raised rear end and adjustable swing arm pivot is standard. Frame recesses provide greater lateral flexibility. We have lowered the steering head angle by 0.5 degrees to 66.4 degrees and reduced the offset of the fork bridges by 3 mm to 25.5 mm for front wheel accuracy. And removing the rear wheel has been simplified by using captive axle bushes and optimizing the brake system. We have also added Race Pro 1 to 3 to the damping of the DDC in road, dynamic, race mode in a performance oriented manner. This makes it possible to ride along country roads with on-road damping characteristics, also in Race Pro 1 to 3. The six-stage DTC traction control with the new steering angle sensor enables two new functions, brake slide assist for deceleration and slide slip control for acceleration. The new steering angle sensor measures your drift angle and, in conjunction with the DTC, helps provide optimum slip. DTC settings 2 and 3 have been optimized for the racetrack and slicks. Brake slide assist helps you master power slides like these in no time at all, for more dynamic performance around every turn. Thanks to the clearer illustration, you can now read the corresponding settings off the TFT display even more quickly. Always ride within your limits and within the lock. BMW Motorrad releases BMW S1000. This motorbike is called a sport touring motorbike because it offers superbike style performance but with the comfort of a touring motorbike. If the adventure touring motorbike is characterized by a duck's beak, like the BMW GS series, then the S1000XR is characterized by ant antennae. The front body part is like an ant's pincers, which makes this motorbike look aggressive and sporty. A pair of symmetrical lights containing four projector lenses and are LED, providing comfort when riding at night. The LED lights make her face seductive. Above it there is a windshield that is quite high, and has a high-low setting, although it is still manual. Behind the windshield is a 6.5 inches TFT speedometer which has become standard on the latest BMW Motorrad motorbikes. Then the handlebars use a typical width and height model for touring motorbikes. The middle of the motorbike contains a 20 liter capacity fuel tank wrapped in a plastic cover. 
The middle part of this motorbike gives the impression of being solid, because of the large size of the engine and the left-right body which tightly covers the engine area. This motorbike seat is a separate model, with a fairly uneven position between the rider and pillion seats. Meanwhile, the stern of this motorbike is made slim, so that when the side box is installed, the dimensions are not too wide and remain proportional. You don't need to use a bracket to install the side box anymore, because it is already available and integrated with the motorbike chassis. Don't be confused when you see a tail that doesn't have rear lights, because it turns out it is integrated with a turn signal. So the city lights and brake lights come on on the outside, while the turn signal lights on on the inside. The idea is also unique. This condition allows the brake lights to remain clearly visible from the rear when the panniers or sidebox are installed. At the stern there is also an integrated stirrup with a mount for installing the top box. I'm really ready to tour. Starting from the all-digital speedometer, which shows the XR logo and motorbike silhouette when the ignition is turned on. The initial display shows a large tachometer with speedometer numbers next to it. There is also a clock, room temperature, odometer and riding mode. Press the menu button up, it will display the trip meter, digital fuel meter, average fuel, trip 1 to 2, average speed, rest time and more. Looking at the menu there are settings that display various conditions and status of the motorbike, sport then navigation, music and telephone if it is connected to a smartphone in my vehicle. What's interesting about the sport mode is that the appearance will change to a sporty one, typical of a racing motorbike with a larger tachometer, and below it is the tilt angle of the motorbike. Then on each side there are indicators for traction control and braking strength. The sporting aura is really strong. The heart of the S1000. The difference is that the engine for the S1000XR is focused on long distance riding, so it has stronger torque but less power. Power is rated at 165 horsepower, 11,000 revolutions per minute and torque is 113.8 newton meters, 9,250 revolutions per minute. The lights on this motorbike are all LED, from the headlights, DRL, turn signals and rear lights which are integrated with the rear turn signals. Another feature is a grip heater. Then the pro headlights, which when cornering, the light reflector will change direction according to the tilt of the motorbike to illuminate the inside of the corner. Then there is MSR, engine drag torque control which prevents the rear wheels from slipping due to excess torque when downshifting or opening the gas quickly.